Right, well, I'll just get some health, and then uh, we'll move on to the next level. The final level, I believe. Before the treasury, of course. Yep. Nasty knock. So many gems! That should be all of them. Because they wouldn't have any in this one, because you need 100% to get in there. There we go. <gasps> Here we go! Confronting Nasty Nork. <sighs> Let's set these off. Now, I'm not actually sure what to do for this. Uh, um, I remember that in order to complete this, you pretty much need to collect a bunch of keys. And the only way you can get the keys is by chasing down thieves. So let's go around here and get some thieves. In fact, no, I'm not going to get the thieves just yet. I'm going to run around and collect all the gems first. I'll let him go ahead. Because... Oh no, it's not this one yet. But they do get a lot harder with time. Hooray! That wasn't too bad. Now which key does this open? Surely not this one. No. Uh, which one does this open? This one? Here we are. I'll skip that. So he doesn't get he doesn't get a chance to shoot me. Like I said before, I'll go nice and slow. Especially around here, because there are no boundaries. Which is always great when you need to charge, isn't it? And plus it you know gives me a bit of chance to uh, to see where I'm meant to be going. Oh, oh, can I get to him before he gets to that bit? Yes! Marvellous. Right then, which one does this open? Probably not this, surely. Oh, it does. Brilliant. Mm. No, I, I think it's like with the, um, the thieves, so I'm just going to go nice and slow and collect everything along the way first, and then I'll go nice and quick to catch him up. He's just like, he, he is the master thief, you know, so it's, uh, it makes sense that he would act like, act like a thief and run just slightly slower than me. So, uh, yeah, that's probably what they were looking for. He's really gotten quite far ahead. Oops. Got to double check around here. I've got everything, that's good. Don't want to miss anything, because I do not want to have to come back to this level. Oops. So is that everything? Uh, he'll probably drop something, won't he? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah, this isn't going to go very well, is it? This might be useful, actually. Never really put this into proper use. But it is very useful when it comes down to manoeuvring around sharp corners. Oh no, come on. What am I actually meant to do with him when I get when I get there? Am I supposed to flame him or am I meant to just charge him? I really don't know. I seem to be going a bit slower this time. Either that or he had a bit of a head start on me, I'm not sure. Yay! Oh. There are multiple parts to this. But I'm at, four, I'm at 400. Oh, there's 500. Okay. Okay, this isn't going to go well. I'd forgotten about this bit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, 
Yes. Ah. Yes. Did it. Oh, like a boss. So what happens now? What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? Well done. His toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Good. Good to hear. Ah, we have the credits first. Cool. Right. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put these on at the end, so you can join me again when I'm about to do the, the final treasury level. Okay, so here we are at the end. We've obviously collected everything, but I don't think we can get in there until we've talked to the final dragon. So let's do that. I don't know how he got himself turned into crystal, because I've destroyed Nasty Nor, but still. Ancient history now. So... What's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Oh. Huh. You mean like now? Oh, magical. Nasty's loot. Here we go. I like how the text stopped me slightly. Hmm. 12,000 treasure. This is going to be fun. It's a difficult level, actually. You can die quite a lot in it. But, uh, it's fun. Yep, and we have, like, infinite flight, but you physically cannot fly higher than the height that you started flying at. So, say I started flying at this level, I cannot fly any higher than this level. It's, it's a clever idea, actually, because it means that you have to fly to places, you know, within your range, and then climb higher. As I say, it's a nice little idea. But this level is pretty much all about collecting gems, obviously. And I think the only ones you can collect are 10s and 25s. So, it's very pink and yellow level. Hello. You didn't last long. And the keys take you to higher places, obviously. So the keys will take you to like a ramp or a staircase or something. And I'm not actually sure where the first one is. I think I just saw a... Uh... oh no, it's, it's pretty high up. Oh, here we are. Sorry then. There we go, I'll skip that. Can't be bothered watching that every time. So here we are, obviously we've gone a little bit higher, so it means we can fly to somewhere within this height range. Which is obviously over here. Ah. I hate the open plan ones, because you, you can't anticipate where they're going to go. just have to kind of guess. There we are. I don't actually know how many gems are actually in this level, but I don't want to press select and find out ahead, so I'm just going to get right to the end, and we'll be pleasantly surprised when it's something like, I don't know, a thousand or two thousand or something. That'd be pretty cool. Right then, so I suppose we'd best go back to where we, uh, where we started, over here. Obviously you can always climb your way back up if you fall, for example. Actually, I, I kind of want to have a look in here first. I don't know if I can get anywhere with this. But uh, we'll see. It's very nice though. It's very pretty. I think there is actually a... Um, 
a thief you can catch in here, in this tunnel. Oh, oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's in an airplane or something. But I don't think he'll he'll appear until I get to that level. Ah, here he is. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I need to go and get him through that tunnel. Right. Just gonna have a look around the grounds first to see if I can get anywhere else. I can get here. So I'll set that off. I don't think I can get anywhere else though. No, I can't yet reach this level. I can reach this one though. So let's get that. Oop, then fell off. And let's take us back over to here. Oops, it is. Right, whatever. Let's just get the. Um... Oh, we can go over here. Ah. So we can reach this height. Whatever then. Maybe I just I just unlocked that one. Or oh, they just blew that one up, sorry. I can't reach that high yet. Okay, so does this does this guy actually go into the tunnel? I, I, I thought he did. Maybe there's another one. There we go. Uh where is this? Ah oh, yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Cool. Aha, so this has obviously gotten us a little bit higher. And there is another plane, thought as much. Hmm. I think this one might take a little while, considering he's got such a head start on me. Yeah, and if you try if you try going the other way to meet him, I think he, he just turns round starts going the other way. So it's best to just kind of follow him until you eventually catch up. Which obviously you do. Unless you do that. Which I have done twice now. I'm, I'm actually going to turn around and see what happens. I'm pretty sure he just turns around as well. But it might make it able so I can... It, it might give me the ability to at least catch up a little bit. No, I don't think it is, is it? Hang on, did I just pass him? I don't even know. Surely if I had passed him, I would have seen him again. I can't see... what? Has he gone back up here? What? I I'm so confused. I don't even know where he is now. Hmm. Oh. I really must be careful about that. Oh, there he is. Okay, so if I get too far ahead, he just goes back to that point and waits for me. That's nice of him, I have to say. But I suppose it does make it a little bit more challenging if you try and, you know, cut him off. Because he just, he just doesn't appear. And it gives you the opportunity to catch him up a little bit. There we go. Magnificent. Right, where does this take us then? We can get up here now. So, let's fire this off. Somehow, there we go. Which will open this one, I assume. Go. So many gems. Right, how many is this now? This has got to be like a thousand. And that's not everything. Clearly. Ah, here we are. No, oh, hang on, that's where I came. That's 
so I came out. There must be another bit where I can go higher. I just don't know where it is. Where is it? That, I can't reach that. Physically cannot reach that, it's too high. Uh, I must be able to. Let's let's try from ah here we are. There's another door. Cool. So this just brings me here and makes it able for me to fly higher. Logic. Uh, here we are. How many do I have? Do I have 950? Yeah. Wow! Look at all these purples. Oh my god. Wow! Look at all these! This is amazing. And so much fun. Very, very lovely painting, by the way. I mean, personally, if I owned all this, I might even do something like this. I have a, a giant painting of me looking, well, maybe not green, but I'd have something very dangerous and heavy in my hands. Wait, hang on. What happened to the video? Where's the video gone? Pyro the dragon. Ah. You've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the dragon kingdom. How do and made sunglasses. I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, Playing basketball with a sheep. the opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Why? Why are we going again? We killed Nasty Nor. He's dead. Did somebody find his staff? Ah, okay, so there's a second lot of credits. Cool, so I can talk over these instead. So, that was an excellent game. As I have mentioned many times before, it's a brilliant game. I love it so much. Obviously, as with any video game that you'll play, there will always be levels that you hate. There will always be levels that is just that you just have to grit your teeth and bear just to get to the end. And uh, obviously, treetops or, or any of the beast worlds, pretty much uh, beast world levels, were just awful. But it has a great payoff. I mean, the treasury that was. It's so fun to do. It may, it may not look like much, but it is very entertaining to just destroy all of those and collect all of the gems like that. It's so easy, it's so fulfilling. <sighs> but it's been, um, it's been fun. It's been very exciting. And I might play the second game. Might. It's a definite might, because I don't want to say yes I will, no I won't, because it... I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of playing anything other than the first one, because all the other games just spoil the series. First game, and only the first game, were ever any good. Yeah, the graphics may not look like much, the, the voice acting might not be brilliant, but it's the only game where the plot actually makes sense, and it, and it's fun. It's actually enjoyable. I mean, it's like um, it's it's almost exactly like the Tiger Tasmanian Tiger series. The first one was brilliant because you had it. It was like a warp room, like with Crash Bandicoot. In fact, Crash Bandicoot is another great example where they have all these levels that you can go to by going into the warp room, whatever, and you have a set amount of things to collect, and then that's it, that's how it was, that's how it worked. Huh, <laughs> no sheep. There were plenty of sheep harmed. Yeah, and plenty of norks as well.
but um, and then you created then they created these new games that were very open plan and it didn't matter how many of these gems or whatever you collected because they were now currency or whatever so is this it I, I, I thought there was an, a bonus cutscene unless that was the one with his sunglasses that might look at that one hundred and twenty percent I really hate that that drives me up the wall that does because there's no such thing. So it just it just throws you back here then. Well fair enough I suppose. Unless there's something else I can do. I can't I, I don't think there is, but no. I've, I've just done it all. Okay. Uh but yeah, then the later games come and they're too open plan and there's no linearity to them and I just don't like them. I like games where you go from A to B and you collect this many things and then you get the 100%. You can't just say, oh yeah, you've got, you've got roughly 100% because there is no 100%. You can collect as many of these things as you like. No, I don't like that. I like to have concise completion. I don't want vague completion, but whatever. So that's been the end. Uh, well, that's been... Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation 1. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Don't look forward to me playing Spyro 2 because if I do decide I want to play it, it won't be for a long time because I already have a queue of games I want to play. So don't expect it anytime soon. Hang on a minute, why am I down to 100 gems? Oh, is that hanging? That's for this world, isn't it? Never mind. I was going to say, it's like, what happened to them all? Not collecting them all again. No way. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. It's been so much fun to do. And you can join me again for my next child-friendly game. I don't quite know what it'll be just yet, but uh, it'll be up reasonably soon. I think Saturday this week. Yes, that should be right. So, see you then.